Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of slope intercept form. This is standard 7.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a graph here shows a linear relationship and we need to write an equation that best represents this line, this linear relationship. And you see it's y equals, we have a coefficient, we have an x and then a plus either four or plus two. So that is how we know it's slope intercept form. If we take a look at our reference chart, look at that very top line there, linear equation, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So that's the form that this is in. And so let's take a look at that real quick, kind of break it down. So y equals mx plus b. Well, the y and the x, those are our uh, variables, right? The x is our independent variable, our y is our dependent variable. This b right here is actually called our y-intercept. So it's where the line crosses the y-axis, right, the vertical axis. So if x is 0, right, because if it's crossing the y-axis, that means that x is 0. Well, if x is 0, look right here, 0 times m would be 0. That means y equals b. So that's how we can figure out what our y-intercept is. And then the other letter we got to look for is our slope. Okay, so the slope is the rate of change here. And it is represented many different ways. Change in y over change in x. You can look at it as uh, two different y coordinates that are uh, represented here with y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 over x minus x sub 1. So that's the change in y over the change in x, or some of us just think of it like this, rise over run. The y uh, rises up and down, the run goes side to side. So first we can start with this y-intercept. Pretty simple, because look at it right here. It crosses, the line crosses the uh, y-axis at positive 2, which means our b is going to equal positive 2. So that's visually very easy to see, and so I can immediately cross out a and b because they had it as positive 4. That's actually where it crosses the x-axis. So sometimes that's a mistake we'll make, is we'll look at where it crosses the x-axis. We want to see where it crosses the y-axis. It's called the y-intercept. But for our slope, we just simply need two different coordinates. So we can go ahead and use these two coordinates if we want to. So this first one, right, is 0, 2. And then this next one is 4, 0. It doesn't matter which two coordinates you need. We're going to plug them into this right here. All right? So we need uh, y over x. So let's do this first one here, 2 over 0 minus the other y over x. So that's going to be, we've got to make sure we get our y's and our x's correct. It's going to be 0 over 4. So I took this first point and just flipped it upside down, y over x. Took the second point, flip it upside down, y over x. And now we subtract. So that's going to get 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So it's just going to be negative, and I can reduce that to negative one-half. So that's my slope. I could tell it's negative because it's going down from left to right. If it were going up from left to right, it would be a positive slope. And so we see that right here. Our two options are C and D, and it is that negative one-half is my M, my slopes. So that's going to be it right there for C. So our answer is Y equals negative one-half X plus two.